Hey guys, what is up? It is FL Gamers here, and um, last time, I, actually this is not last time. This is my first tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro 12, and I recently just uploaded a like a sniping montage that my friend gave me permission to edit, and I added all I did was add like target lock-ons. I guess that's what they're called, and I'm not very good at it honestly, but I just wanted like show people how I made it and it's really simple um, in Sony Vegas 12 you want to get your clip I already have it here you want to have this right here uh, I'll put a link to this you can download this off of Mediafire some guy made it and what you're gonna do actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get rid of this so I'm not like surprised by it when we start playing it so I'm gonna add a video track change the composite mode to add and all you're going to do is drag this on over here and then you're going to like okay we can mess with that later but then you're going to go to the pan and crop and it's going to bring up this box now what you're going to do is you're going to make this smaller as you can see there's already a guy up there so I'm going to just put it over his head Make it a little bit smaller. Uh, that looks fine. And then what you're gonna do is add keyframes. So I already have this the sync cursor, so it'll sync to the video out here. So what you're gonna want to do is click that, and then just for then you're gonna do that, that, that that and you it's just switching to the next frame and you're gonna adjust this every time and it's basically adding keyframes which you can either do it manually on this which will be a lot harder and you're gonna add this all I'm doing is using the mouse button to make this move they're like inverted though because like it's opposite to go up I'm pushing the down arrow to go down I'm pushing the up arrow I don't like that, but you get used to it. And then go to the next frame, move it over, and the dude's dead. Bam. Still going. And I'm going to end that there, right there. I'm just going to end it there. See, we got we have all these little keyframes right here, and it's going to follow it. I'm going to do that. And I'm just gonna pull this over to the little blue line or the little black line. So if we go this way, we can see it follow him until he's dead. And he's on the ground, you can't see him anymore, so that's why that's not there. Go backwards. So let's play that and bam, he's gone. Uh if you want actually actually I'm gonna split the video right here. So I'm gonna hit S. Nope, didn't work. Hit S. It's gonna split. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to hit Control. I'm gonna drag this out just to make it slower. And then we're gonna see what that did. It might have it might have ruined this, but all it did was slow down the clip. So that's just to show you guys how to slow down the clip. Now, if you want, it, like it looks choppy because it is because I recorded off his thing in 30 FPS but if you want it to look a lot smoother record in like 60 FPS or even 50 I think that'll work and that's how you add the target lock on in this thing it actually comes with like some noises so let's just insert a noise track an audio track and listen to them so the first one is mechanical so let's play that uh... <laughs> And like you can do that for like while it's locking on or whatever. Comes with power up. I don't like these noise tracks, honestly. I've already listened to them. This might be the best one right here. Yeah, that that's probably the best one out of these. And you can make them fade like this. So let's do that. 
and it faded. I honestly didn't hear the fade though. And warning beep. I don't think I've listened to this one yet. Yeah, no, that's not very good. And it comes also with this crosshair, which I'm gonna delete this track now. Um, you can add another video track. I'm gonna move this over, just so I can. And I am going to change the composite to add again, and just pull the crosshair over. So now you have this in there, and you can you do the same thing with pan and crop. It's really simple. I'll just show you guys, just to be sure. So you do the pan and crop, uh, and you're gonna pull it over here. I'm just gonna keep it in the middle and make this a little bigger. So I don't want it, to. It honestly, I think it looks a little weird like that. But okay, so we're gonna go frame by frame, frame. Let's scoot it over a little. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Now we're going to go another frame. What am I clicking? What? Uh, uh, so for some reason it's magnifying. Stop. What I do? What I click? Oh, I clicked on that. Normal. Okay. Oh, I, I'm missing the buttons. I'm gonna move that over there. Move that over. That looks fine. Uh, that'll do. Let's move it over. And here it's starting to zoom. I'm just gonna try to keep it as close to the middle of this blue thing, but I'm kind of doing a little sloppily because it's just a tutorial and it doesn't need to be perfect. And just so we can see what it looks like. I haven't played around with the crosshair too much. Just because I don't like the looks of it that much. I might though. And the beginning of the shot. Whoa. What happened there? How'd it get over there? Just move that, move that, move that, move that, move that. Pull it down and move it to the right. And continue doing this. Until the blue thing's gone. Which I don't know when it's going to disappear. There. Hit X. We're going to drag it over here. We're going to watch the video clip from the beginning, and it follows it, and bam. It's that simple. It's really easy. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you, and peace out.